Hi everyone. My topic is management of soil bone disease. First of all, we need to know what is soil bone disease. Soil bone disease is nothing but the diseases that are caused by pathogen which persists in soil matrix. It causes major limitation to the crop production. Some of the soil bone pathogens such as Rhizophrenia species, Fusarium belt, Phytium species can able to cause 50 to 75 percentage yield loss for several crops. Then soil bone diseases have some of the unique features such as they reside in opaque matrix. That's why they are unable to identify. It has complex habitat consists of physical, chemical and biological component. Fungicide application are usually uneconomical so it is not preferred much. Well planned management practices can exhibit ahead of planting. These are all the predominant soil bone pathogens in the category of fungal, bacteria, virus, nematodes and parasitic plants. Soil bone disease comes under two categories that is cool and warm weather disease. Example for cool weather disease are Phytium and Rhizoctonia damping of Apanomyces. And example for warm weather disease are Fusarium wilt and root rot, Clerosium collar rot and Corkul rot. Here, I provide the pie chart for the management practice of soil bone disease. The highest amount, that is 45% was practiced cultural method, then 20% by physical method, the other methods of chemical method, biological method and host resistance. First of all, cultural method. Cultural method is considered as an essential backup procedure for management of resistant varieties and also for chemically productive crops. The principle involved in this method are avoidance, eradication and exclusion. This method includes seven major causes that is crop rotation, management of soil, date and depth of soil, nutrient management, organic amendment and cover crops. Crop rotation and disease suppression. If the same crop is grown again and again in the same field, it has the major threat to cause disease. Therefore, crop rotation is important to break this cycle. For example, Fusarium wilt. These are all the rotation period for particular crop to reduce the particular disease. From this table, we have seen that the crops maize, sorghum and wheat which, are, which can be preceded by tomato and the potato can reduce the pathogen Rhizotonia solanomaceum. Date of sowing. Early and delayed date of sowing can help us to escape from the disease incidence by avoiding the critical period. If the crops, peas and chickpea sown in October, it was affected by root rot and wilt. So we have to sow this crop later for avoiding the disease. Plant nutrients. Plant nutrients plays the major role in influencing the health of plant and their successibility. For example, fungi penetrates the surface by pausing between the cells which can be prevented by the nutrients like calcium by making the cell wall stronger. This was the example that is fungi. Mineral nutrition can affect two primary resistant mechanisms. First one is formation of mechanical barrier that is thickness of cell wall. Second one is synthesis of natural defense compounds that is phytoloxins, antioxidants and flavonoids. From this table, we can clearly see that the nutrient calcium has the ability to suppressing disease like club root, fusarial wilt and damping off in the crops, crucifers, tomato, watermelon, cotton, etc. Compost. We all know that compost encourages healthy plants by improving soil. Root rot caused by phytium and the phytophthora are suppressed by microorganisms present in compost. Management of topsoil. By the way of covering topsoil with organic residue helps in reduce disease. Shaping of topsoil like hedges can be helpful to keep the soil dry which prevents sclerotium delphi, pythium fruit rot and sclerotiana sclerotium. Cover cropping. Cover cropping is the method of sowing non-host crop with the purpose of making soil bone pathogen waste the infection potential before the successful main crop grown Therefore, the main crops are prevented from disease. Usually, mustard and the basic cap used as cover crops as they create unfavorable condition for pathogens. Then, depth of sowing. 
increase the depth of sebum helps to delay in the emergence of sebum therefore it increases the resistance of susceptible crop to pathogen for example deep shading is advisable in case of disease caused by fusarium and rhizoctonia species physical method physical method or aims to eradicate the pathogen propagates the most common physical agents of temperature unfavorable light wavelengths and various type of radiation soil solarization soil solarization is a method of heating soil by using transparent polythene sheet during hot period that is 35 degree celsius for example it helps in to control the verticillium and the fusarium disease in vegetable crops of israel heat sterilization heat sterilization is a process of heating soil by which the heat is produced electrically for example most pathogenic bacteria and fungi are killed at 60 to 70 degree celsius flooding flooding helps to eliminate soil borne plant pathogen by both physical and cultural method prolonged water logging leads to lack of oxygen and the accumulation of co2 thus the pathogens can't survive in soil For example, Panama wilt of banana can be effectively controlled by flooding for four to six weeks prior to planting. Biological control has two ways for suppressing disease. First one is antagonistic association, and the other is symbiotic association. Antagonistic association comprises of competition in which beneficial organism competes with the pathogens, therefore the pathogens can't able to complete their levels. the growth of plant pathogens inhibited by some microorganisms that produce antibiotics in parasitism the plant uses the pathogens as a food by using beneficial microbes in this picture we clearly see that hyphae of the beneficial fungus trichoderma wrap around the pathogenic fungus rhizoctonia symbiotic association we are all familiar about the symbiotic association that occurs in mycorrhiza chemical method chemical method uses chemical pesticides to protect plant surface from infection or to eradicate a pathogen that already infected a plant it includes soil treatment disinfection of warehouses sanitation of handling equipment and control of insect vectors of pathogens chemicals are used to create toxic barriers between host surface and pathogens that is the chemicals applied in the form of soil fumigation soil drenching and soil treatment fungicides that are used to control homozygous pathogens of proteograp propamograp and methyloxal here the reference are provided thank you